Now, do you remember what this sentence says? Can you read it for me? Chika chika to Mabataki o suru. Mabataki is a lump. That's a good guess. That was um, katamari. 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 Mataba, mabataki. Ma mabataki. Specifically, mabataki o suru is to blink. Mabataki o suru, to blink. Chika chika. So, so. Blink chika chika. Um, do you happen to know how this kanji is read? Ryo. Hi. So, ryo te. Both hands. Can you do me a favor and read the sentence for me? Ryo te de mado seki o motsu. With both hands, grab the magical stone. Yeah. Motsu doesn't really mean grab, it just means to hold. Hold. So I hold. To hold or will hold a magical stone in two hands. Okay, Hi. our next word is fukuramu. Fukuramu is like to uh, get bigger, like, you know, bre like bread, for example, rises. So like small bread to big bread. It's some kind of like bulking up kind of thing. Um, Can you read this word for me? Hirogaru. Hi. Hirogaru is to spread out, basically. Hirogaru. Um, can you do me a favor and tell me what this would be? The magical stone um expands, basically. Fukuramu. Madoseki o. Madoseki ga fukuramu. Hi. Um, that sounds right. Just right. Um, do you remember how this is read? Hirogaru. Hirogaru. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Ryo te de mado seki o hokobu. To bring the magical stone with both hands. Perfect. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? Ryo te kara mado seki no Hikari ga hirogata. The light of the magical stone coming from both hands was spreading out. Yes, exactly. So the light of the magical stone spread out and the location it was spreading out from was from the hands, which were probably holding the magical stone. Okay, let's go read our line from the book. Mabataki o itara madoseki ga fukurande ryote de motsu to soko ni kuroi yami ga Hirogata. So here's our first part. Mabati, mabataki o shitara. Mabataki o shitara. While I was blinking. Good guess. That actually would be nagara if it was while. Nagara. Shitara is actually is the word when or if, depending on the context. Since the sentence in total is in past tense, we can assume it was like after, basically, the win. So basically, right. after I blinked, what happened? Madoseki ga fukurande. Fuku, spread out. Yes, it, it got, it expanded. So Expanded. Big one. And... The match what happened the, next? the magical stone expanded and ryote de motsu i ho holding on hold on with both hands and immediately 
そこに黒い山がそこに from that place the black darkness 色型 spread it yes はい so yep Basically, what happened is that originally this was like last we met yesterday. He, with one hand, he put it into his pocket and grabbed out the magical stone.、Um, right now, he's blinking. Well, look at the stone, and the stone suddenly gets bigger. It like booms. And then when that happens, he gets a second hand, and now he's holding it with two hands rather than with one hand. And right when he moves his second hand there, the hold it as well in that location, the black darkness expands from there. I see.、Um, so, how would what let's uh, so what particle is missing here for um, the flame from the fireplace disappears? It's extinguished. Don't r o w no heat. Ga, kieta. Perfect. Ga. So, our next sound effect is gun. So, gun to. This means noticeably. Gun to. Gun to. And our next word is、um, yura meku, which is to flicker, like chika chika suru. But、um, this is more like the flickering of a flame, I guess, than necessarily、um, strobe lights. Yura meku.、Um, yura can you read、meku. this sentence for me? He got gun to. y u r a m e k u g u n d o referring to the sound of the flickering. Mm, hi. Gun. So, gun so, means like very noticeably. Noticeably. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird sound effect for sure. The flame flicker. Gun. Noticeably.、Hi. Yep. So, basically, it's very obvious how it's flickering. Almost like an elephant in the room. It's gunto. <laughs> if if your plane made a gun sound, sound, that would be like, what's going on? Ah,、uh, something happened noticeably. So, so.、Um, do you remember how this guy's read?、Um, omoi. Hi. How could you add omoi with naru together to make to be getting heavier? Or to get so、heavier? we have an e adjective omoi. Linking with a verb,、Hi. so we need to change the e ending to ku. Hi. Omoku naru. Perfect. Omoku naru. Nice. So let's go read our next line from the book. Sono yami ga gun to omoku nari. Danro no hi ga yurame ite kieta. Yurame flickering, kieta to disappear. Hi. It flicker and disappear. So, what did? And what flicker? The danro no hi, the flame from the fireplace. Hi. And before that,、uh, become, nari is to become. Hi. So, what become? Uh, sono yami ga that shadow gunto visibly omokunari heavily become yes, heavily become. So, how could you flow、uh, this together? The that darkness visibly. Heavily be- became、so、become, visibly and... became heavier, right? Mokunaru.、Oh, yes, visibly it became it become heavy.、Um, the light from the fireplace fl- flicker and it disappear. Yes, hi. So, even though this visually is definitely a way you could、um, translate that in this context, it's more noticeably. Just because, how does something visually get heavier? Does it like break what's underneath it? But what's going on is that the darkness, it's a lot heavier. It's gunto omoku. It's, it's noticeably heavier. 
So it's not just like a little bit heavier, but like really, it's a lot heavier, basically. Um, do you happen to know what this kanji is? The character for far away. Hi. Toku. Hi, Toku. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Toku ni nani ka ga mieru. What does this mean? Uh, far away, at the distance. I saw something. Yeah. Or I something to became see... visible to me. So, so. Yes. Do you know what sakebu means? Sakebu is to call out. Kind of. Sakebu is more like yelling in general than calling out. That Calling out is more like yobu. Oh, right, yobu. Right, move there. Yobu. Sakebu is to yell. Yes. Like, you can call out with sakebu, but sakebu just makes it that for sure it's going to be loud, right? Yobu is, like, to call in general, so yobu in can be loud, or it could be a little bit quieter. It just means to call out something is yobu. Uh, but yeah, they're very Hi. similar. Okay, let's go read the next line. Norobo wa tsubayaku hachi ue gatta. Hi, this can be ue. In this contract, it's actually a. So, tachi agatta. Agatta. To raise up. So, so. Tachi agatta is to establish something. It could be, or but in this one, it's to stand up. Tachi from tatsu to stand, and agaru is up. So, tachi agaru just means to stand up. So tatsu would be standing, it's... but tatsu gatta is basically focusing on the act of getting up to stand, not like necessarily whether or not they're still standing. They're just they're focusing on the action of standing up. Right. So achiagaru. So and the adverb is subayaku swiftly, nimbly. Yes. Quickly. Not quickly, but it's very uh, it's it's easily. pretty fast. You're not really gonna do subayaku slowly. It it is yes. nimble, but in a fast way. It's the fast nimble because there's other uh, um adverbs to be slow nimble. So, but subayaku is fast nimble. Nimble. Hi. So the thief stand up quickly or nimbly, exactly. nimbly and fastly. He swiftly gets up. Can you read this word for me? Sakebi koe. Hi, sakebi koe. This is a um screaming voice, like a yelling voice, a voice of someone yelling. Can you read the sentence for Hi. me? Toku ni oh, yeah, I got machutsu. Hi. Toku ni machutsu shi no sakebi koe ga suru. Hi. And for this specific word, there actually is rendaku. So it's sakebi goe rather than koe. So the go gets a little extra vibrating going on in it. Goe. Hi. So what does the sentence mean? At a distance, the magician, the, the, sc the scream of the magician, the yell, the yelling sound of the magician happens basically. Gasuru, it happened. Yeah. Hi. Um. Do you know how this word is read? Shu. Hi. Shu. Hi. Hi. Can you read the sentence for me? Hi. Uh, ma chutsu shi wa sue no sue o sukanda. Sukamu. Hi. The verb is. Sukamu. To sukamu something is to lean on, to rely That's on. That's a good guess. Um, you're thinking about uh, payoru or uh, words like that. Tsukamu, right here with this kanji, means to grab something. Tsukamu. Tsukamu, to grab. 
the magician grab the the cane. Perfect. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? Shu Jim wa sakebi koe gatsuru. Hi, is this sakebi koe or how else might this be pronounced? It's actually sakebi goe gatsuru. Perfect. What does this mean? It means the owner. You can just do the word uh, made. The owner scream. Yep, he screamed. He made a loud noise. Um, let's go read the sentence from the book then. Toku de Sujin no sakebi koe ga shi. Neburi ga tsue o tsukande. Subayaku tachi ageru. It means. At the place far away, at the distance. Right. Sujin no sakebi koe ga shi. The owner scream. So, so. And. Neburi ga tsue o tsukande. Neburi grabbed the cane and Tsubayaku tachi ageru. Swiftly stand up. Yes, perfect. Nice. Now we're doing a little kanji check. Um, how is this guy read? Ryote. Hi, Ryote. And how about this guy? Hirogata. Perfect. And do you happen to know what this word is? Um, this is sumetai. Sumetai, which is cold. Sumetai. Um, what is the ta form of atatakai? It's a, definitely going to be a tongue twister in English. Atatakai. This is an e adjective. Hi. The ta form is going to be the kat. Kata. Hey, kata. kata is the ta form of the e yep. adjective. So it's so. ata ta ta. Sorry, ata ta ka ta. Ata ta ka kata. Ata ta ka kata. Hi. Ata ta ka kata. It's a long word. Uh, can you read the sentence for me? Hi. Mado seki wa. Sumetai. Hi. The magical stone is being cold. So it is cold. It is cold. Do you happen to know what this kanji is? The kanji is mizu. It looks a lot like mizu. You are correct. Mizu. I'm sorry. Um, it's actually ice. So you're right. Um, kuri. Close. Kori. Kori. Hi, nice. Okay, let's read our next sentence. Um, Kori wa sumetai. What does that mean? It means the ice is cold. Perfect. Do you know how to add naru to sumetai? How would we do that? So to become cold. Sumetai naru. Hi. We will need to place the e with the ku. Hi, Sumetaku naru. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? Hi. Madoseki to kori wa nite iru. Meaning, the magical stone and the ice are similar. Perfect. And let's go read a line from the book. Hi. Atataka kata. Mado seki ga. Are no te no naka naka de. Kori no yoni mitsume taku nata. It means. Okay. 
um, in my hands, the warm atatakata, the warm magical stone. So why is it atatakata uh, rather than atatakai? It was. It's in the past. It's. Hi, hi. It was warm. Oh. Um, the the magical stone that was warm. The relative clause. Hi. Um, kori no yoni, like a piece of ice, sumetaku nari. It become cold. Yep. It became like cold a piece like of ice. ice. So perfect. So our next um, verb is hanasu. Hai. This hanasu means to release. Hanasu. Um, Hai. We actually saw this word on an earlier sentence. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Hai. Chi-san ga ore no kata kara te o hanashi. Su, um, sue o tsukinagara kyuna sa, uh, saka? Hai, saka. Saka o. The action of going down is something. Ori hajimeru. Hai. Ori wa hajimeru. No, ori hajimeru. Hai. What does this mean? Started, started to um. Yep, started to descend. It, but let's start over here. Jisan ga ore no kata kara te o hanashi. Hi, the subject is Jisan. Yep. Mm, followed by the direct object te. Mm. Uh, my, uh, kata kara kata kara te, the hand that come from the shoulder. So from. A hand, my so, hand, the hand mm, that comes from the shoulder of so, mine. So, so the Gramps, he hanases a te. Oh, he release. Okay. The hand. He release. Yes. He releases the hand from my shoulder. Exactly. And we'll, and we'll with, stop right there. <laughs> hi. Yep. So the grandpa releases the hand from my shoulders. So it could be. It doesn't specify whose hand it is, but contextually, we can assume it's the grandpa's hand. Hi. Hi. And do you remember what yoto, uh, oto shiteru, <laughs> oto suru means with uh, mo? Oto mo. Uh, may I clarify? Hai. The root the root form of this verb is oru, correct? Uh, ru, nigeru. Nigeru. Ah, right. so the ru is changed with the yo to so, shitemo. Yeah. Specifically, it's in volational form, and then we added to suru, and then we added that into te form with mo. So, hi. Uh, this grammar construction mean even even though this action was attempted. Yes, exactly. So it did not come to um, fruition. An, ex an expected result, right? So, or fruition. Yes, it means um, even though we tried. How would you put hanasu into oto form, which is to attempt? To attempt. So first we need to remove the su. Hai. And turn it into the volitional form, so. Yep. So hanasu to shite. Hai. Perfect. Nice. Uh, now we have another adverb, which is sarani, which means furthermore. Sarani. Um, not on, top on the plate. So, <laughs> oh, sorry. That, and that's we now we know why the O <laughs> needs to be there to make it more obvious. We're talking about plates. Uh, do you happen to recognize this kanji? Hi, this is die. Mm -mm. Mm, it can be die. That's correct, but not in this uh, context. What's it hai, with the key? Key. This this is an adjective, mm. so it is an O key. Hi, O key. Nice. Um, could you read the sentence for me? Hi. Mado seki wa oki. Meaning, the magical stone is large. So, perfect. Um, how would you say the magical stone, I'm oh, sorry, the stone has 
gotten smaller? We say uh, this character by itself is Ishi. Hi. Ishi ga. And then this is not Chisaku, but Hanasaku. It is Chisaku. This is just flooding up here because it wasn't deleted. Hi. Chisaku nata. Perfect. The, the rock became small. Hi. This is definitely the rock that became small. By default, wa goes in here, but ga goes in there to show a little bit more aggression. Hi. So you will see both very commonly in their wa and ga. It's just a ga is the one with no flavor. That is the cracker without salt. Um, this right here, this kanji is also pronounced as hana. And there is a version called hanasu with this kanji. Right here, though, we have hana redu. Hana redu. This is to basically to separate from something. Hana redu. Like a physical hana separation. Redu. Hi. So the verb is. Hi, understood. Hi. Can you read the sentence for me? Hi. Dorobo wa shokudo o hanareru. Hi. So this is hanareru is normally used with some kind of inanimate object like a place or a thing. What do you think this means? It means dorobo. The dorobo hanareru. From re, the dorobo releases the shokudo. Hi, that so be that hanasu. Me, this is hanaredu, oh, this, which this is, is to separate self. from. Okay, so the subject here Hi. is dorobo. So, but the dorobo is being acted on. So the thief is separating from the shokudo, which is the cafeteria. The thief is separating from the cafeteria. Hi. It, this O is messed can, me up. I know. It's interesting. You can actually, a lot of times, this O will be replaced by kara. Hi. The sentence would be the same. I would say, dorobo wa shokudo kara hanareru. But you will see O, and we do see O in the example sentence later. So you're doing separate, you're forcing separation on the object, is how you could think about it with the O. <laughs> you're basically saying, you have cooties, go away. But tangent yeah. so this all can actually mark a location that we are leaving with the depending verb on what the verb is yeah mm. right. well the, everything is based off of intent so you can never use ni if you're leaving from somewhere because ni is a destination you can only go toward ni you can't leave ni ever right. um so you would never use ni there so your only real choice is really o or kara because you can't use de, which also can be used for locations. Because de is a stationary location. You can't go toward a de location. And you can't leave a, te, a de location. De just exists in the location. So because I of see. that, these, these are just not, you can't use them. Because if you're leaving, you're not, you don't have a destination. Um, so that's I... why kata, though, does happen often if you're leaving somewhere, like from somewhere. In that case, you're literally saying the word from. Rather than saying to separate myself, I guess, to the, like, grammatically, we have to use from in English, but in Japanese, you can use the all here. Hi, hi, this separation. makes sense. Hi. Okay. How would you say the stone became larger in Japanese? Ishi, oki, naru. Hi. We start with the subject. Ishi, ga. Or ishi wa, I'm sorry. Followed by the action. So, okiku naru. Hi. Perfect. Ishi wa okiku naru. Nice. What is the nai form of this verb? First off, what is this verb? Hanareru. Hi. What does that separate. mean? Separate. Yes. So, what's the nai form? The nai form, the negative of this. We need to know first if this is a ru or an u. Hi. This is a do verb. It's a root. Therefore, is we drop the root and we place the nai. Perfect. Hanare nai. Perfect. Nice. And let's go read this line from our book. Hi. Uh, ishi wa 
さらに大きくなり話そうとしても離れない。May I be reminded、uh, さらに What is that again, Mike? That's furthermore. Furthermore. Like、uh, even more, in other words. Hi. The stone, the ishi,、uh, became even larger. o k i k u n a k u n a r i And Anne, Hana so toste mo, even as I try to release it, Hana re nai, I could not separate. Perfect. Nice. And Right now, it is our halfway point. So I'll be seeing you in two seconds. 